As we've covered in past shows, mild winter temperatures have sped the growth of wheat and other plants. But the conditions have also allowed insects to emerge sooner than normal. We talked with UNL Extension entomologist Bob Wright this week about the beginning of rootworm egg hatch and common stock borer, a pest producer should now be on the lookout for. It's a type of caterpillar and it has a sort of unusual life cycle. The adults lay their eggs in the fall, typically on uh, field borders, broom grass areas or dead uh, vegetation within the field. The eggs hatch out in the spring and they start feeding out on broom grass and then when the caterpillar gets about half grown, the plant is too small for it to complete its development and so it starts moving out of that plant and that's when it moves into corn and other crops. And we can predict that based on degree days. And what we're seeing now in southeast Nebraska is this is the time where people should be out checking field borders, see if they can see injury from stock borers and uh, make a treatment decision pretty soon. As they move into that field, how can you notice the injury? What, are you, what should you be looking for? Okay, typically they either bore into the stalk or bore in, in through the whirl. And so they can kill the, the growth in the whirl. You get dead terminal growth. That's the first sign typically of uh, severe damage from stalk borer. You mentioned the degree days. Explain to me how that works and where we are currently or where we're, we're the range we're in. Well, we use degree days because that adjusts for the fact that uh, with a year like today, this, this year, mm -hmm. we can account for things rather than using calendar dates. So if we have a warm year, it predicts faster insect development. Uh, right now, we're at about uh, 1,400 to 1,500 degree days in southeast Nebraska, and that's the time when you would want to start making a decision to treat. In other parts of the state, we're, we're lower, and we're at the range about 1,300 degree days from January 1, where you should start scouting. So most of the state should either be scouting uh, or make, getting ready to make a treatment decision for stock borers. If you've scouted and you think that you, you do have stock mm -hmm. borers or a necessary damage mm -hmm. that you might meet, what mm -hmm. is the treat, treatment recommendation then? Okay, we have threshold information on the CropWatch website. It's, uh, it varies with the, mm -hmm. the amount of injury and the cost to control and the yield, yield loss or yield potential of the field, so it's not a simple number. But a post-emergence insecticide spray can kill the the, the uh, caterpillars that are moving, they move over a period of time, so you have a, ch a chance to kill them still, even though they're starting to move now. We've been talking about corn. Does it affect soybeans? It can feed on soybeans, but it's not a major pest. I think one of the issues is the soybean stem is too small for the caterpillars to complete their development. It's pretty rare to see them on soybeans, but occasionally you do see them on soybeans. Let's move to rootworm egg hatch. How far ahead of schedule is that looking to be this year? We saw them. Uh, Starting May 7th up at, at Mead and uh, about that same week out at Clay Center. And this is at least two weeks ahead of normal, almost three weeks of what we typically see as average. So it's very much early. The main impact is that all the developmental stages of rootworms are gonna start earlier this year. And particularly we may be seeing adult beetles a couple of weeks early, earlier than normal. A lot of producers out there probably already think they have mm -hmm. the precautions in place yeah. by planting a seed variety or anything like that. So what recommendations mm -hmm. do you give to them? Well, the, even, even if you've planted a BT corn or a seed treatment, it's good to scout for the larvae. Uh, you need to dig up the soil around the plant and uh, look to see if you can find the larvae. Probably not right now, but in a week or two when they get bigger, it's easier to find them and uh, there are some post-emergence insecticides you can apply if you need to. Producers can find updated degree days maps and other information on stock borer and rootworms on the CropWatch website.